On Thursday morning, as former President Trump prepared to appear in a New York courtroom for his civil fraud trial, a bomb threat was called into the home of the judge presiding over the case. It was the latest in a recent series of false emergencies directed at high-profile public officials. The criminal act known as swatting has been around for years, but now, with Trump promising, quote, bedlam if he's convicted in his upcoming trials, the threat of political violence is a growing concern to law enforcement across the country. NBC News senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez has our Sunday focus. Weeks ago, Dave Yost was out of town when he got a baffling phone call. Well, I wasn't here and I got a telephone call uh, about it. Uh, saying that I had shot my wife. Someone had called police and falsely claimed there'd been a shooting at his home in Ohio. His wife was fine. Why do you think you were targeted? Well, I'm the attorney general of Ohio, and uh, the, you know, political figures are increasingly coming under threats of violence and pranks like this. Days before, on Christmas in upstate New York, another mysterious phone call involving Congressman Brandon Williams. I would call it a uh, an assassination attempt on me and my family. He says someone had called 911 to falsely report violence at his home. Police recognized his address and called to alert him while they were on their way. For his family, the harassment was terrifying. My first action is protect my family and make this easy and simple and clear to the police. They have very incomplete information. Swatting, as it's known, is when someone makes a fake emergency call, often alleging violence at a victim's home, so that heavily armed law enforcement, such as a SWAT team, respond. It's happened to stars like Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, and the Kardashians. But now the targets are increasingly public officials. Among them, special counsel Jack Smith, who filed criminal charges against former President Trump, accusing him of plotting to overturn the 2020 election. Also, Judge Tanya Chutkin, who's overseeing the case. Maine Secretary of State Shanna Bellows, who barred Mr. Trump from the state's ballot, also swatted. So was Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Florida Senator Rick Scott, and Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. Just this past week, there was a bomb threat at the home of the judge presiding over Mr. Trump's civil fraud trial. The FBI has launched a national database to track swatting incidents. A deeply disturbing spike in threats against those who serve the public. Investigators say swatters use what's known as spoofing mechanisms to hide their identity and their location. This is deadly serious. This is not a, a prank um, because in the last several years, people have literally died, lost their lives because of swatting events. In 2017, police in Wichita, Kansas, shot and killed a man who they believed was holding hostages in his home. But it was a hoax. A dispute over a video game led someone to make a fake 911 call with the wrong address. Much more than a prank, authorities say swatting is dangerous and illegal, and it's evolved from targeting celebrities to now public officials. People that are doing this are trying to create chaos. They're trying to intimidate uh, the individuals who are the, the subject of these false reports. And it's, uh, it's very unfortunate. And Gabe joins me now live from Washington. Gabe, good morning. So as these incidents of high profile swatting have become more common recently, has law enforcement found a pattern in who's being targeted? No, Willie, both Democrats and Republicans have been targeted. It's a growing problem that some law enforcement agencies debate publicizing for fear of inspiring copycats. But we should stress, Willie, the consequences for this are severe. Across much of the country, swatting is now a felony. Several states, including Virginia and Ohio, have recently increased penalties. And other states like Georgia and Missouri are considering it, Willie. Yeah, serious consequences warranted here, as you just pointed out. Gabe, thanks so much. We appreciate that report. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.